Welcome to my first battle commentary in 2023. This game is part of the half final match from Goldie and Silky versus Unity, Philip and Lancer. The map is Homestead, a map of many smaller hills and ridges where it's quite hard to launch a quick decisive attack. Winning zones in this tournament are uh, the forest here and the hill on the flank, here in position 1 as well as uh, this area in the middle and also this forest or this one like this area but uh, it's very unlikely that someone goes for this uh, area because it's right in the front of the attacker position to spawn and uh, quite easy to defend same actually uh, is the situation here in the middle but well, maybe it's possible in the long run to conquer this position at some point, but uh, most people are likely to go for position one, uh, the position one winning zone in here, as we see in this game. Um, so yeah, Goldie and Silky, obviously, as you can see on in their deployment, uh, go for for this winning zone. On position one, we have Lancer with uh, Prussia versus Goldie with Great Britain. On position two, th we have Philip with Portugal versus Sil Silky with uh, Ottoman Empire. Due to the uh, ter uh, terrain and some barricades all over the map, cavalry overall is uh, not that good here on this map. That's why you normally have infantry based nations here as. Uh, the other those those three players here um, have uh, yeah we will see how silky uses his ottomans and uh, if they pay off here so let's go obviously he doesn't want to attack himself uh, with his ottomans he uh, sends his shooter cuff uh, six of them and his general to support uh, goldie's uh, push here and uh, Philip with Portugal is not able to uh, to support Lancer that quickly um, with uh, with his troops because he does not have a uh, comparable cavalry force to the Ottomans. The Ottomans also brought two swords, which are allowed, and some light infantry and infantry, of course, from the Nizami Chidit. I guess Lancer brought some classic build, yeah, for Lancer cavalry. But uh, yeah, no militia and uh, three foot guards. We see that uh, Goldie managed to uh, take the hill, more or less. Lancer has some musketeers here, but. Um, the British foot infantry with three uh, to compared to two are definitely <coughs> better here. But uh, Goldie needs to push uh, the musketeers away from the hill. And he pushes with fencibles and light infantry in block formation and two lines here in the main forest. Lancer has uh, his Prussian fusiliers here in light formation. It's yeah, it's okay the line of sight, but not that great. He sends some lances to um, push back the light infantry. Light infantry uh, over here opened fire on the musketeers, but they also fired back. I'm not sure what the Ottoman cavalry is doing and why they did not engage this musketeer unit, probably because of the Tuvachis. But there would have been a second line, so in my opinion he should have uh, gone here and shot a volley off. The lances are fighting in melee uh, against the uh, fencibles. But now they are out of the game and the fencible still has 70, so this is 
so far it's uh, looking quite good for Great Britain here. Unfortunately, uh, Silky did not uh, switch fire at will off uh, with his cavalry and shot the uh, the British, since they did not have a line of sight on the Prussians, but it wasn't that bad. I, I'm not sure why Prussia is not... Uh, uh, he doesn't have any pr uh, Prussian fusiliers here on the flank to counter the slight foot infantry. Uh, maybe he's scared of the uh, the Ottoman cavalry. But uh, he has uh, so many units here, he could have uh, deployed some troops and back lines to defend against them. Well, maybe we'll see it soon. And uh, the Ottomans uh, completely uh, well, uh, went behind Great Britain and uh, Silky only defends or uh, build up a defensive formation here against Portugal but Philip does not attack for the moment maybe he wants to rest first and has also some Casadores threatening the British flank here and also he took over from uh, Lancer on the hill but he is very def defensive here so actually both of them are very defensive now we see the Prussian Fusiliers uh, taking position here on the flank against the light foot infantry Goldie retreated, but it was a bit too late, and he uh, tanked the volley from this uh, Fizzly unit as well. I'm not really sure what their plan is. <laughs> uh, I think uh, they need to. to do something decisive uh, here on the flank very fast because otherwise at some point the uh, Portuguese will attack here and it doesn't look like they want to win on this side. The British double line uh, is shooting against the Prussians here but um, on almost maximum distance. And Lancer now uh, orders all his uh, light infantry in light formation uh, to shoot the light infantry, which is not that well covered. Uh, so very nice micro here. They are not in light infantry formation, so they are uh, counting casualties here. Now Goldie sees it and uh, reforms them in light formation <coughs> and also retreats them a bit. Obviously, uh, Lanza and Philip are extremely cautious here um, and do not want to uh, yeah, engage and risk too much for the moment. Nice micro from Goldie that he uh, spread uh, his light infantry here in the open so far so they can st withstand longer but uh, again he retreats too late and gets some shots in from the musketeers we will see if Lancer is fast enough but it looks like he's fast enough to escape the volley from the foot infantry the problem of uh, double teaming here uh, and concentrating all the forces uh, is that uh, Goldie did not push uh, far enough to uh, give Silky something to do with his double teaming force. So now both of them kind of uh, stay in the same area but uh, nothing happens at the moment. The uh, Ottoman troops here in the middle will not be able to do too, uh, very much here. 
So, I mean, this is this is the main uh, spot for cavalry uh, since this area is not forested and uh, there are no barricades like on this hill here. Um, So if they want to double team with the uh, mounted rifles, then they need to do it here. They also retreated here from the middle hill. So Portugal has uh, this spot now. suffers some casualties but he doesn't want to engage for the moment since uh, he needs to engage uh, definitely with his um, left flank as well if he wants to push in the middle and it doesn't look like he wants to do so for this moment Selke formed some, some double line here with his uh, Nizamichi did infantry, but they are fighting Prussian fusiliers on distance in the forest oh. in a tricky terrain, so uh, they don't hit very much, and the double line counts a lot of casualties here against the fusiliers. <coughs> or it will uh, when the engagement goes on. I mean, there are two uh, light infantry from Britain against one from uh, from Prussia. I think he uh, should go with the light infantry here uh, and cover with this one uh, the fusiliers on this side because. Uh, shooting from outside the forest into the forest while getting shot from the forest uh, is not a good idea here. Philip concentrates a lot of forces on the hill and prepares an attack with his militia. Also the Casadores shoot the hill and uh, some reach the light, some bullets reach the light foot infantry here in the forest. <coughs> and Lancer pushes on the flank, finally. But I'm, I'm not sure. He has so many units here. He does not have to cover anything here. So uh, and Philip has all his army in the middle, to, uh, so he's very uh, uh, close to support him and replace him. So why uh, Lancet does not send more uh, safety lines here uh, to back up his his flank against a possible cavalry attack from? from the Ottomans and British, uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, for the moment it doesn't look like Goldie and uh, Silky want to do something offensive here, so that's maybe the reason, and yeah, apparently um, Philip starts his attack here in the middle, He has his general close uh, to the militia, so that's a very good choice. So they stay in battle as long as possible. But the militia is taking a lot of casualties here. 
even before the Portuguese line infantry was able to shoot a volley here. Now the militia charges into the ranks of the foot infantry to um, stop them shooting the line infantry and the Portuguese formed two double lines nice micro here from Lanza to uh, give target orders on the uh, rather uncovered uh, light infantry units This is a very nice spot for the Cazadores. They are uh, slightly covered behind the ridge here, and uh, yeah, now they have to retreat because light dragoons of Great Britain are incoming. But Philip formed the squares with all his backup lines here, and the dragoons retreat again. Honestly, uh, uh, as I said before, I attacked uh, with um, yeah my flanking force uh, at the same time as I push here in the center. But okay. <coughs> at the same time. We see Lancer pushing with his Prussians here on the flank and uh, especially in the middle with a double line of foot guards and musketeers. And Philip retreated again in the middle. The foot guards now open fire here. They apparently they had fired at Wilof before. Lucky that he saw it. And another Prussian Lancer charge makes the British form squares here in the forest. while the British Light Infantry is still being engaged by the Prussian Fusiliers. And Goldie now... No, he does not target shoot the uh, uncovered Prussian Fusiliers. Because those 31 have, uh, uh, have no ammunition anymore. But okay. <coughs> um, nice micro here from Lancer again. He uh, target shoots the foot infantry and also pushes again a bit with his flanking force. And Philip pushes here together with Lancer uh, next to the forest and will engage the uh, walking Nisamitidit light infantry. So this is a very nice target now if the Portuguese open fire. Now they open, open fire, and this will be a very problematic volley for the light infantry. Yeah, almost twenty men. The mounted rifles uh, are fighting in melee against the squares and the flank of their double line here, and the British and Ottomans are double lining together in this forest. But here they are fighting uphill and the Cazadores still have this good position and also have already an upgrade here. <coughs> so obviously they killed a lot of uh, men from the uh, from the Ottomans here. I 
I, I'm not sure. I, th I think they should have uh, let uh, Portugal the gun down here into this area and then uh, counter attacked or something instead of just shooting uphill all the time. But they are counter attacking on this side now while Philip has a Portuguese cavalry in their ranks. But the Ottoman cavalry is hunting down the uh, Prussian fusiliers. Unfortunately, they are out of ammunition and the British do not follow this attack. <coughs> but the swords, the first one, uh, the first sword unit is incoming here on the Prussians who are not very good in melee, so this might work, but Brandenburg Uhlans are charging the Kima Janissaries and they retreat again. But the Coldstream Guards fired a volley on the Brandenburg Uhlans from more or less close distance, so this was a very, very nice micro here from Goldie. And the uh, Brandenburg Uhlans can f uh, stuck here uh, in the middle and got shot from the saddle. And the swords attack again. They are fighting the foot guard in melee, which is down to uh, 30, I think. Um <coughs> And finally, the Portuguese flank uh, attacks the the Ottomans. Nice position here, uh, positioning here from Philip on the hill against the, the Ottoman light infantry and the Casadores, the best light infantry of the game, of course, uh, will slaughter those Nisam Ichidit light infantry within a short time. Another infantry is coming to engage the light infantry and yeah fires a very good volley so very nice micro here from Philip and the Ottomans retreat but it's a bit too late and yeah they got completely destroyed here while it's well not even but uh looks not that bad for uh, the Ottoman British alliance here on the flank Lance is retreating and double lining again he has no backup line so again this would be a great I mean this formation is so so bad this would be a great moment for a cavalry attack finally for uh, with the double teaming from with the Ottoman cavalry but yeah, and apparently they want to do it and don't know why Lancer did this formation here and he retreats now again and Philip won uh, his uh, engagement within no uh, very short time here uh, on the flank of course and um, he also decisively won the engagement here in the middle. The Ottomans still have one sword unit. The other one got uh, broken here. And yeah, Silky once again retreated uh, here behind Goldie's forces and uh, deploys in this forest for a last stand against the incoming Portuguese. <coughs> and Lancer apparently wants to push here in the forest and deploys his foot guard musketeer double line um, again against the foot guards and British foot <coughs>
the Cazadores are out of ammunition and go into melee. Second upgrade for them, so apparently very good use by Philip. We see the battle from Philip's uh, perspective, so we will check their stats in the end. And yeah, Lancer did not push. Uh, he's waiting for Philip to engage their flank before he pushes uh, further in this forest. He has a lot of backup uh, lines here, two of them from Philip and some musketeers, 92. Tovachi's force a square from the Coldstream Guards while the musketeers are shooting. So very nice. And the foot infantry is coming to shoot the Tovachis, or at least to protect the flank. But the Portuguese are already in the forest here with some some cavalrymen and fought off the mounted Nisamichidit. And I'm not sure why uh, Silky held back his sword uh, unit so long, because at some point they, when they are used uncovered by uh, infantry and cavalry, they are more or less useless. So again, some squares are from the Portuguese are being forced by the mounted Nisa Michidit, but there is no line infantry to shoot the square and the cavalry is getting targeted and destroyed by Philip. So, um, we see that uh, Philip and Lancer will win this game within the next minutes. So, again, why uh, did Philip, uh, sorry, Silky and Goldie uh, lose that hard? Um, in my opinion, uh, they had a uh, uh, a tactic which could work with the double teaming of uh, of the fast mounted rifle cavalry here on in the in this spot going for this winning zone and destroying um lance's units or pushing them in front uh, in front of them out of this out of this forest uh before philip could have arrived with his infantry force to relieve him but uh they did not go for a, a an all-out attack with their uh, cavalry and also not with the swords as soon as they arrived. They just uh, yeah, defended in this area and uh, kind of waited to uh, to yeah get destroyed by the uh, very strong um, yeah volleys from the Cazadores and Portuguese infantry. So this is the end of the game. We will check the Cazador statistics in a second. I guess they did a kill a lot in this spot. You see uh, Lancer doing a very good job here. And Goldie also did. Uh, but uh, Silky's Ottomans um, yeah, kind of did not pay off. Uh, Philip also did a lot of kills and yeah this is the one with two upgrades 223 so this is very good use of the Cazadores here and he also did not use some of this uh, some of his units uh, like this one <coughs> so 
he still had reserves in the end. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.